Today's Tales is us playing Battletech once again, and today I'm going to try a half and half of a bum rush fit here. We're going to do two Kentaros, they'll be up front, hopefully tanking, and right behind them will be two Hunchbacks. So these Hunchbacks are packing a million and one lasers, and my Kentaros are packing a bunch of SRMs and a couple of lasers. We ignore the LRMs, they are not really there, we just pretend those weapons aren't there. We're going to go straight up the guts. We are playing a uh, against a heavy lance here. So they will have hopefully assault mix and all that good sort of stuff in here. I did randomize them so I'm not quite sure what they're going to be coming with. But hopefully the two mechs at the front, the two Kentaros, will take the initial burst damage here. And then we'll get them up close and on top of the enemy mechs. And we will drop the uh, SRMs. And then in behind will come the uh, the laser guys. The old hunchies. They'll be like, uh, yo. We're here, to, we're here to finish things off. Uh, I should probably keep an eye on the fact that the hunchbacks cannot keep up with uh, the pace here. So... I should have maybe... Uh, they're not too far behind. It's not too bad. Should be okay. Just, uh, the enemy's gonna come in pretty quick. Here we go. What have they got? So that's a heavy mech right there. So it looks like they've got a light, medium, a heavy, and an assault. Not too bad. Meanwhile, I just have a truckload of mediums here. We're gonna reserve up. Everybody has evasion at the moment. I'd rather they came in towards me as close as possible. So that I had an idea of what was going on. Okay, looks like my evasion's not kicking in so well. We took 50 to the gut. Uh, that amount of AC fire is probably, I'd say, Jagamek. Yeah, look at that. Look at that AC fire. That is definitely a Jagamek right there. Um, that felt like a couple of shots in there. This guy is in paradise. He's doing okay. I think he's going to get around this corner, though. I did cheat a little on the map choice here. I picked a map that was going to do me good. And uh, clearly this map is going to do me a lot of good. I could go for the commando here who does have evasion. Or I could go for the Jagamek, right? And we all know where this is going. In fact, you know what? Say hello to the LRMs as well. Paradise being in the front is a real good choice. Man, look at that. He just... He just got savaged. As soon as his arms pop off, he is going to lose his ACs. Uh, I should have maybe waited for this guy, but it doesn't matter, actually. Paradise has got evasion. Ooh. Alright. A PPC. Hmm. It could be an awesome, I guess. Um, we get the rest of the Kentaros around here, though. Look at this. This, this Jagamek. He is all sorts of out of position. I'm going to completely ignore their commando. Normally, I'd try to run down the easy targets first, but there's no point, right? Not when I could probably pop this guy's arms. He's going to lose a fair chunk of his damage here. This arm is got basically a cable holding it on. Sparking away. In fact, he's going to put that cable in the water just for extra, extra use there. I oh, don't know about putting the Jagamek at the front. I mean, his armor value is 80 in the chest, 65 on the torso. That is insane. Um, we're going to sprint up probably the two hunchbacks here. They are still fairly out of position and can't do a lot of work from around this corner. I should have maybe have taken them around the top here, actually. Could have kept on sprinting them this way. But uh, we'll get them around this way first. Definitely going to sprint in. Mm, we don't want to sprint. Should we want to sprint all the way here? This one, I think, is go. better than that one for movement. Uh, we've got a little bit of this cliff face kind of protecting us. Not really, actually. Yeah, none of that's protecting us. Uh, 1B, is that the... I think a 1B is the large laser variant of the commando. We'll soon find out. If he fires a large laser, then he's a large laser, right? Uh, or he's just going to moonwalk all his way back. Yep, large laser. There it is. Paradise. He's trucking though. Look at him. He's just dodging everything. All of the damage that he eats right now is just uh, excellent, right? We're just going to push forward. We're going to drop the hammer on the Jagamek. Oh, there's two of them? Are these the same? Oh, they are. Alright. 
two of them. We're going to go straight for the chest, though. Uh, we're going to keep overheating. I think if we get one of these guys off straight away, it'll get a whole lot easier. This is why I love the Kentaros. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> that guy is. For a medium mech, there's a lot of damage. In fact, this guy's a... This, guy, this guy's a heavy mech. So they have two heavies, an assault, and a light. Alright. Uh, our back Kentaro here is taking a bit of damage. Old sumo, but... Shouldn't be too bad. If we can get this guy out of here. Okay, it looks like we have some issues here. This deep water is screwing us a bit. We cannot go this way, so we're going to have to bunch up around here. But we'll get this guy dead. He's not going to survive this. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. If you survive this, I'll be pretty unhappy. Considering we've had to overheat a fair bit. There he goes. There he goes. So our heat values are a little screwed right now. But uh, we can then still get up these guys. They should be oh, 65, so it's not humongous. But it'll do. Put some more damage into... Oh, we could go for... We could go for the commando. He has no dodge. He, he actually reversed. If you reverse, you don't get dodge. So we'll take all our 65s out on him. Because uh, any and all damage that we do to him... We'll rip things off. Medium laser gone. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and then we'll get wildfire in as well. And I think wildfire... Hmm. You might not be able to do... What have you got to hit him? 55. If I inspire, I wonder if I'll do... I'm pretty sure I won't get up to 95 if I inspire from here. Uh, oh, no, I will. Alright, we're gonna just... Alright, he's toast now. All of these medium lasers hitting him. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much over for him now as well. There we go. Gutted him. Just melted the center torso there. And here's a smoking pile of rubble. It's, it's pretty much doom for these guys now. I don't even know what's back here. But uh, this Jager mech, he's going to get rolled up on by uh, everyone here. And it's going to get all ugly for him. We're just going to roll in and probably punch him. Just to save on some heat so that we can unleash next turn with a full salvo again. Ooh, look at that. So as I was saying, I did cheat by picking the water. Uh, the, the heat values are pretty good. What are you? A battle master. Okay. Oh, you're going to roll around the back of my mech? Oh, no. You're going to go for the hunchy. Ooh, a lot of damage, though. Ooh. Hunchy nearly down. 130. You basically shredded... 150 damage off that, uh, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, 150 damage. Wow. That was quite the, uh, quite the goer there. We'll roll in and punch again. We're just gonna give this Jagamek a good old hard time. You know, just for being up front and in it. He's always knocked down. Okay, that's gonna be, that's not gonna be a happy time. Because now, these two hunchbacks get to cooldown shots. So every time you put a mech on the ground, you get to pick where you shoot. And my, 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 is this not going to be good. Apex is going to roll in. I'm going to cool down all my shots on probably the chest here. I reckon we'll get a bit of dispersion. You don't always, you're not guaranteed every single shot to hit, right? But uh, that's going to do a lot of damage. You can see we're melting through a lot of this armor here. Even from here, it's going to hurt. Ah, oh, this Jager mech's like, I regret my decisions. Why did I move here? All right, same again. If we manage to get, look, you can see most of it's kind of grouped up around the chest. If we can get this torso off, then that'll be some ACs gone. Jager mech, as soon as it starts losing arms, it starts becoming a lot worse for it. And we just, oh, we sent a torso to it. I was about to say, did we just remove both sides of its arms? But this uh, battle master's like, okay, okay, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. So you're just gonna give Paradise some. Oh, okay. So Paradise didn't because he didn't move. Instead, he because he just did the melee hit. It doesn't count towards your um your dodge there. This deep water is actually really annoying. I wonder. 
No wonder the AI comes at you in funny paths, right? It's because that deep water. There's a lot of deep water on their end, but not much on our end. So, I don't know if that really affects the map quite heavily. Because you can only come in this way. You can't... You've got a snake around this side. Yeah, it does kind of give it a bit of a weird feel. We're going to probably just not do the LRMs. Yeah, we'll save on this. So, we can do about three rounds of this. There's no way this guy's standing up to three rounds of... Uh, SRMs, although he hasn't moved, so he has entrenched himself. But, uh, I'm here. I tell you, I wouldn't want to be taken through rounds of SRMs if I was any one of these pilots. The I'd be like, please, what is this, 60? So, uh, 120, 180. That's ash, that's mass loads of damage. Uh, 180 plus 250s. What do we got? 230? Not too shabby. A round. 230 of rounds, you know, and then we can do that across three rounds. Two mechs, actually. Two mechs doing that a turn. 460 damage to this guy. Although, being entrenched, being guarded, obviously we're not doing nearly as much. But, uh, you know what, we're just going to run up to this guy a bit. I don't particularly want to just be slow boating back here. So we'll get you up, and then I think Apex might be in range. See, she had to go around there. It ate up a fair bit of her movement. Actually, you are in a bad position. You're in a bad way there, Wildfire. It's a real shame you are kind of knocked down. Ooh, we're going to move in and zap him up. Battlemaster's like, yeah, I've just seen you. We basically just traveled along here, gutted this guy, gutted this guy, gutted this guy, and now we're just... Everybody's on the floor. That's the other thing. The SRMs knock them down quite a fair bit. Uh, which means everything moves in the same turn. Anything that falls over is fair game now. He's going to get up and he's going to be like, Okay, I'll try my best. I've got, my, I've got all my armor plates on here that are tanking up. What am I going to do? I'm going to run into the middle of you and punch you. 415? Yeah, that's a good choice. Probably not this mech, though. 115 would have probably killed... Oh. Yeah, alright. A couple of rounds here and there. We'll... we'll dodge some of that. I would say... Let's have a look. Wildfire. 115 damage would have killed Wildfire. Would have been probably the optimal choice. Uh, but so be it. In fact, we're going to use our newfound skills here. And we're going to rotate on the spot. We're going to turn around here. And we're going to say hello. Hello, my friend. Get a bunch of lasers to that arm. I think we're just going to go at this the old-fashioned way. We're going to just bombard them till they're dead. No punching allowed. They're just going to melt all sides here. The battle mech, the battle master might get one of our mechs here because he does do a bit of damage. And uh, he is, you know, he is an assault mech versus four mediums, so he should do something, but. Man, we just melted him there. Absolutely melted him. And worse is to come. Worse to come yet. He still has the uh, still has the 460 damage here. Let's get on. In fact, no, let's not fire our LRMs. Are we going to shred an arm? Ooh, it's getting close. It's getting close. He's pretty concerned. Pretty concerned about his life here. Uh, do you want to get on this side? Man, we're just doing both sides. Can we get here and do it? Oh, we can. Oh, both sides. Look at this. We're just lining both sides. Happy days. Get everything in here. Up, oh, up. Oh, come on. Arms. Oh, right arm, right torso. Ooh, and on the ground. All right, so that's one side gone. Now, can we just ease the damage into the other side? And we can probably shred the other side too. You know, we're mercenaries. We like to we like to get some bits and salvage some of the stuff on the ground. You know, we don't like to just... Oh, come on. Don't give me your back, buddy. Ooh. Oh, close. Except for it was to an arm. Oh, you still got the machine guns, though. You could take an arm off here. All right. All right. That arm is... That arm's still good. Still good, my friend. And you are out of luck. All right. So what do we got? We want to do this side here, right? So let's get the hunchback in first. And see if we can get on this side here. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe we'll shoot from back here. 
just so that we can fit the Kentaro in close. Mr. Battlemaster, today was not your day to be a master. Oh, everything is so close to popping off here. Oh, come on. Come on, hits. Left arm, left torso, left leg. Oh, what is left? There is a leg, a torso, and a head. I'd like to try and burn off a leg here. I'd love to see that. In fact, we'll probably do... Alright, from here, this will be the last thing that we do, I think. We'll inspire for this, because I want full chances to hit. None of this 90. None of this 90 business. Not when we can have 95. Can we just go for the head? Burn off the head, there'll be a torso. Let's do it. Pretty sure we'll uh, kill everything here, though. Ah, uh, come on. So close. Oh, there's just a leg. Just, in fact, I'd love to see if there was less than a leg. Come on, please be less than a leg. I'd be amazed if I killed an entire mech. I've yet to do it. I've yet to kill an entire mech. No, we were so close. There was a lot of stuff left on this, but man. Uh, we toasted the head. Just a leg is all that's left of the Battle Master. I don't quite... Sometimes I think that this army here should go when you destroy things. Like, I feel if there's no torso left on the front, surely the armor plates are not left, right? I mean, I guess that makes sense that you've kind of melted through the internals on the front, but the back armor's still there. I don't know. Kind of makes more sense that there's just a leg, right? <laughs> not this husk of a thing. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty gruesome. You can see how quickly... A bunch of brawling mechs can get up on things and really wreck their day. We... Not looking too bad. I mean, in reality, a, a normal player would probably put the commando behind some cover to see everything coming. Sense a lock with this. The battle master would be towards the frontish and the two Jager mechs would be at the back or to the sides. So there's no way I would have been on top of Jager mechs. These things... They're basically cardboard, right? I mean, for a heavy mech, they're just bits of cardboard. And letting Kentaros and Hunchbacks get up on these things, no sane human player is going to let that happen. Hopefully no sane AI is going to let that happen. Uh, yeah, hopefully they change the way these mechs sort of treat themselves, because, I mean, yeah, they got ACs, but they got no armor. Whereas this guy, this guy was sitting at the back, right? And he at least has... I mean, he's got 200 on the chest. Uh, I think it's 140 on the shoulders. There we go, on the uh, torso there. So yeah, hopefully the AI gets... The AI, they did say the AI is going to get a bit of a buff soon. So it'll be interesting to see that. But with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time. More Adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.